All right, welcome in today, art peeps. We are doing a rainbow leaf on here with an awesome design and background. Let me reveal my secret mystery leaf under here. So this is what we are using today. You can use a multitude of whatever kind of leaves that you want. Real leaves work the best. I've used some fake ones before in this project. It doesn't quite work as well, but if that's what you got, you can use those as well. So I got my big maple leaf on here. And you wanna start with the side that has the veins exposed. So the side that you can feel the texture on them. So I kind of got a little inspired by these. I was doing this with my other class, which I've done a couple, for a couple of years now, where they take kind of the leaf print and then do uh, random still life objects, sometimes kind of fall, uh, still life or fall fruits, a uh, little scene in the middle with oil pastels, but then the leaf print in the background. So that motivated me to this project because some people use other colors with their leaves and it kind of has a rainbow effect in that. I want to do some practices. I have some crayons without... Uh, Every now and I call these ones jumbo crayons just because works better on the side than actually when you're pushing on top of the crayon. So make that important, that step. Both back and forth, side to side. Before we get too far along, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. That is the easiest way to get all my free fun videos coming out every week, just like this awesome project right here. So I'm gonna take that on the side. Um, if you wanna do just some practice, um, sometimes I just give my kids a couple sheets of paper just so they get the technique down. Um, some of them almost do it too dark and then you can't see it as well. So I always start out kind of lighter and then gradually start to kind of find the leaf behind where you're almost doing it blind without looking. And then you kind of can push harder and harder at certain parts and you'll start to be able to see where that leaf is. So I think it's good. You can either flip your paper and do it different times on here or you can grab some different leaves. Again, make sure that it's with that vein side, not the flat side on the back of there. So you can go through that a couple times Okay, but now when you are an expert, or at least a little bit better on there, set your leaf up in the middle as best as you can in there. And I'm gonna start with our rainbow mat. So I will just kind of trace over it from the top and then go down to the bottom with all my colors of the rainbow. So let's go through that really quick. Okay, awesome, how cool does that look? I think it looks really, really good as a start, but it's not quite done yet. So let's take it from this. Bam! All right, there it is, a rainbow leaf, got all the colors in there mixed in, and then I outlined it with Sharpie, uh, just really, really lightly. I started off with kind of the jumbo crayon, but I didn't think that was working as well. So I took my trusty old Sharpie and kind of went all the way around, gave it a little oil pastel frame on it, and then just to finish it off. So I thought it turned out awesome. So, so as always, I am Mr. Shooty. This is Mr. Shooty's art channel, and we'll talk to you guys later.